uh, the outcomes of the National Executive Committee, which was held yesterday until the early hours of this morning. Over to you, SG. Is it afternoon? Uh, let me greet all of you. Uh, I'm here with the DSG of the ANC and our spokesperson. I'm going to read the, our statement. This is the statement of the African National Congress uh, following our special meeting of the National Executive Committee held on the 12th of February at St. George's Hotel in Tswane. The meeting was called to reflect on the current situation as it pertains to the position of the President, Comrade Jacob Zuma. The NEC, because as officials we have been interacting, the NEC received a report from officials on the engagement with President Zuma. And this engagement had been informed by the commitment to pursue, firstly, the interest of the country and the interest of the ANC and the determination to handle this matter with utmost dignity. As the President of the ANC, Cyril Ramaphosa, has said last week, we had fruitful and constructive engagement with President Jacob Zuma, and we are further taking the process forward. The NEC noted the report of the officials that the President had agreed in principle to resign and had proposed time frames extending from three to six months. And while appreciating President Juma's proposal, the National Executive Committee noted that South Africa is going through a period of uncertainty and anxiety as a result of the unresolved matter of transition. Further, that this uncertainty and anxiety will erode the renewed hope and confidence among South Africans since the 54th National Conference of the ANC. And therefore, the National Executive Committee firmly believes that this situation requires us to act with agency in order to steer our country towards greater levels of unity, renewal, and hope. We are therefore determined to restore the integrity of the public institution, political stability, and agent economic recovery. And some of the matters we are contending with are the opportunistic maneuvers by the opposition in Parliament, including motions of no confidence in the President, calls for the dissolution of uh, Parliament, and other desperate acts. And the ANC's approach to this matter has, at all times, been informed by the interest of all the South African people. And sensitive of the need to handle this matter with dignity, the National Executive Committee once again sent a delegation to brief President Jacob Zuma about our decision and the fact that we couldn't short, shorten the time frames so that this matter is speedily resolved. So the NEC received uh, feedback from the delegation that the president um, was once more pleading that uh, this time is too short. And therefore, in its wisdom, the NEC decided as follows. One, to recall uh, his deployee, Comrade Jacob Zuma, in accordance with Rule 12, two, Rule 12.221.2 of the ANC Constitution, which accords the NEC the authority to recall its employees. There should be continuing, we agreed also that there should be continuing interaction between officials of the ANC and President Jacob Zuma. And the decision by the NEC to recall his deployees was only taken after exhaustive discussions. And the decisions of the ANC provides, we believe, certainty to the people of South Africa at the time when the economic and social challenges facing the country require agent and resolute response by all sections of society. 
It is critical that South Africans are united around the task of growth, job creation, and economic transformation. And this decision will be communicated publicly, as we are doing now, and through appropriate forums to all structures of the ANC. Over the weekend, National Executive Committee members will go throughout the country to brief and inform our structures about the decisions we have taken. And all necessary parliamentary processes that arise from this decision will also now ensue. Because from tomorrow we'll brief uh, our parliamentary caucus uh, about the decisions we have taken. And we're happy that uh, there was a uh, cooperation between uh, all of us, President Jacob Zuma and all of us. The only thing is that we couldn't agree on the shortened period in terms of the transition. I want to thank you. Thanks, uh, Secretary General. Uh, we are going to take two rounds of questions. We'll take the first.